Welcome back to Basis Claims, our casual conversational comedy podcast. My name is Tay, comma, too sleepy, too furious. My name is Tori, the billion dollar boy Thompson. My name is Tyler Fluffernutter Matheson. Now, Fuck have yes, I baby. got something you, for you. You know what a Fluffernutter is then, don't, don't you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's two separate jobs you can have in the porn industry that are equally as profitable. That is oh, not. Fu- I thought you were what talking about is. the marshmallow peanut butter sandwich. Yep, I want to hear about this porn. That sounds way more interesting than that nasty. Sandwich. I'm not. Yeah, ta- I'm not one. talking about that. I am talking about the nasty sandwich. Fuck. Mm-hmm. I'm talking about the nasty sandwich because I truly believe, and I'm going to test it live on the podcast. Oh, that this could be the most tactical sandwich on earth that potentially the oh, U.S. Army should look into. He's fucking eating one right now. I've prepared myself a fluffer nutter. And here's what I think. Normal sandwiches. You got all your you got all your ingredients on it. It's wet. It's crunchy because of lettuce, perhaps. It's got different various meats in it. You gotta chew it, you know. A lot of that's typically a how lot you of eat noise. Thing, yes. Sure, sure. A lot of with noise, a, we'll call it. <laughs> with a fluffer nutter. You could be uh-huh. on the front lines. You could be behind enemy lines. Sure. You just, I'm, I, this is my hypothesis, is okay. that you can eat it, eat, and it'll dissolve in your mouth, so you can stay sure. maybe calorie positive uh, behind enemy lines and uh-huh. not make a sound. Okay. This is a very tactical sandwich in my mind. So sure. I'm going to try sort of, it. it it's, it's a caloric vessel, mostly, to you. Mm-hmm. It's not something to enjoy. Uh, it's not a meal, perhaps. It's too... It's to intake calories. Not even that. It's to, it's to you know be stealthy, you know. But you gotta maintain, you know, uh, a diet of some kind while being stealthy. Like you're not yeah. gonna find fucking Solid Snake eating a bag of peanuts underneath his box. That's just not how that works. <laughs> like, he's not gonna be eating like a ton. He's not gonna be like fiddling through trail mix, you know. It kind of does seem. Like they like that could be in the game. Like, mm-hmm. let's be honest, Tyler. We've never played Metal Gear Solid. You have no idea what Snake's doing under that box. And you know uh, Kojima's a wild, <laughs> he's a real rude dude, okay? He's gonna get nasty. So you, you take off the box, he's eating some ramen. You don't know. <laughs> Colonel, I can't get the bag open. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm gonna try a bite of this fluffer nutter. And I'm gonna oh, see if you never a, had if one? it's a, no, never had one. I'm gonna see if it's a a decent sandwich. Or if it's uh, Hellspawn, and B, if my hypothesis is correct, that this could be a very tactical sandwich. All right, go ahead. Uh, sure. take, a, here, here take, a, take a real big bite there. Yeah, so if anyone doesn't know, a fluffer nutter is peanut butter on one side, marshmallow cream on the other side, and white bread. Mm-hmm. And the fact that Tyler was thinking about this as a tactical application for our boys in, in camo. Sure, for, our, for the overseas fellas. It, it's a bit concerning why that was the first thought when constructing this sandwich, but you know, it's each their own. Um, the only thing I hope is that Tyler doesn't need milk or water after this. Cause any, yeah. any sort of sandwich like that sounds really rich and uh, high in sugar. So. Homie's been chewing for a minute though. Yeah. So <laughs> doesn't here's the, the dissolving thing. Maybe not so much. Mm-hmm. My hypothesis was, uh, was uh, proven incorrect. You see, I, I, I thought maybe it could dissolve in your mouth. The combination sure. of just marshmallow and peanut butter, like, uh-huh. like a wet mouth would just kind of take care of it. It yeah. turns out when you put them together, it kind of coagulates in a way. Oh. Where you've somehow created, along with the white bread, about the stickiest substance imaginable. Yeah, sure, I sort kind of, of sort of an adhesive paste of. Um, <laughs> kind of, yeah, I feel like I just ate glue. Like it tastes yeah. like nothing, and feels like glue in your mouth. So maybe not so tactical because if there's like two enemies like walking even on like a steel grate and they're making the loudest clanks with their boots you've ever heard, they're gonna yeah. hear you going. <laughs> yeah, trying to get the epoxy out of the roof of your mouth. Yeah. And like What was that? Your canteen will have to be full of like milk, not even water to like satiate the richness of a of a peanut butter sandwich. Nonetheless, some marshmallow fluff added into the equation. I got I'm going in for another bite just to kind of see if that first oh, that wow. first one was a little Incredible. bit maybe weird. It's 
Look, I know this is maybe uh, not the ideal thing for an audio experience, but I feel like <laughs> we're doing the research for you so you know sure. whether or not, mm -hmm, like, mm -hmm. you know, you're sneaking back into the house. It's late at night. You've had a few drinks maybe. Or maybe you're not 21 yet and you're just, you were playing Fortnite. You were up too late playing Fortnite after mom said bedtime is 10 p.m. And you're like, fuck, I'm hungry. I'm doing the research to see if maybe you can get away with this. Mom's still asleep. You won't get grounded for playing Fortnite too late. Now, I don't endorse the fluff or nutter as mm -hmm. um, a food item, but I will say that I think it's one of those things that might be enhanced by uh, uh, putting it on a griddle, maybe. Oh. No. If it was hot, it would become even, st like, having mm -hmm. the experience of it in my mouth right now, if it was heated up, I feel like you would only make it stickier. There's a difference yeah. between heating it up like in a microwave, which is what it sounds like when you say heat it up, and like griddling it or maybe putting it in one of those little camp like pie makers where you, yeah. kind of, you, know, you clamp it down and hold it over the fire. I feel like that might be kind of the move. Yeah, make mm. pudgy pies out of them. I'm sorry, what did you just say? Pudgy pie. What the just fuck is that. What the that's, fuck is a pudgy that's, that's, pie? That's what my mom called them growing up. Your mom made that shit up. She's a fucking liar. Hot as hot as she is, lied to you, <laughs> straight to your face. Hot as she is, the most fat phobic woman I know for what calling her like? a pudgy pie. <laughs> yeah. That fucking ass of hers is a little pudgy pie, I'll tell you what. Oh my god. Here I am sharing a whimsical fucking memory from my past, and you're like, no, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you, fuck your mom. <laughs> it's weird because after eating that sandwich, I feel I don't feel like I've eaten anything. I feel like mm -hmm, I mostly sure. consumed air, like sticky air. Yeah. Well, I mean, it's the same as a PB&J, I imagine. Like a PB&J is a snack. It's not a meal. Yeah. No, but even then, like a PB&J, you feel like, oh, I ate something. Like, I, like it's not like that. Like a PB&J is a light snack, but you mm. still feel like you ate something. This, I'm telling you, I literally feel like I just took a deep breath in. That's about as full <laughs> as I feel. Like one deep okay. breath. Sounds like you need another one. Yeah, you essentially just ate a spoonful, spoonful of peanut butter and sugar because the, the white bread is mostly air <laughs> and then the marshmallow fluff is also probably predominantly air. <laughs> yeah, gulp it away. I got to drink, drink a lot of water. I don't think my mouth is ever going to feel moist again. <laughs> no. No, you made a crucial mistake. Yeah, you fucked up, bud. So what what incepted this uh this fluffer nutter experiment? My girlfriend's been trying to get me to eat a fluffer nutter for some time. Oh, she, oh wait, 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 wait. Why? That's new information. Is is she a fluffer nutter eater? No. Yeah. Her a fluffer her, nuttist? Her her <laughs> nuttist. Her father was a fluffer nuttist. <laughs> and I guess because I found out about the fluffer nutter from her a few years ago. When she said, like, when her dad would be working, he would be, like, his his lunch would be a fluffernutter sandwich. Like, oh, he would for eat a that lunch? for lunch. Maybe, like, after a post-work snack, but not lunch. He would eat it for lunch, I guess. And I would say, that's a fucked up thing. That sounds bad. And so she's been trying to get me to eat one to see what it's like. And I was like, why don't you eat it? She's like, I'm not going to eat that shit. <laughs> you, eat that. you eat that. You're braver. And I was like, okay. <laughs> and now, see, she convinced me today when she said that maybe like, maybe if it was like the last thing you could ever eat, or like maybe if you were in like a foreign country uh, and you had to eat it because you Korean couldn't ask delicacy for The delicacy of the fluffer nutter? <laughs> <laughs> no, like if it was like I didn't know the language and that was all that was available to me and I couldn't sure. speak or talk to... There's a lot of pre-qualifiers for that, but that gave yeah. me the idea of... <laughs> oh, maybe it's tactical. Maybe I'm in a foreign country because I'm a super spy. Maybe I got to be sneaky and consume sure. calories. No, it didn't work. It, it, again, I feel like it's getting worse. I feel like my mouth yeah, is no. getting stickier. Like as I'm yeah. listening to you talk, like your voice sounds thicker. Does that make sense? <laughs> Mm. Like in yeah, a smooth, got... sexy way. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah, you're bringing a real thick, creamy nature to the audio space going on in this podcast. And There's I appreciate it, honestly. Maybe, uh, maybe my Ooh, voice fuck. is a little bit thicker oh, after shit. eating that fluffernutter. Maybe this is my Jesus real voice Christ. now. Whoa, did we just stumble upon why Markiplier is so successful? 
Holy shit. I want to fuck you the same way I want to fuck Markiplier, Tyler. I think I just grew chest hair. <laughs> <laughs> I think I felt it a little bit. I think that would maybe be, that was the secret to manliness. If you were like twenty or like nineteen, that'd be cool to say. But you're twenty six years old. <laughs> I'm twenty six. I've never had an ounce of chest hair in my life. Must be nice. Oh, it doesn't grow around your nipples in a little circle. I said chest hair, not nipple hair. Nipple hair is different. Chest hair is like you know, like Sean Connery, James Bond type shit. Not on, not if it's only <laughs> nipple hair. Sure. <laughs> Yeah, but, you know, I don't grow, ha- I, uh, like, chest. Whatever. We're getting way too into the, the way that I hit puberty and what happened. <laughs> <laughs> we're, getting way t- we're getting way too fucking in the weeds there, okay? The way you hit Sorry. puberty, you the way you hit puberty, Tyler, is like a... Slow and gentle. <laughs> yeah, and I was going to say, it was like uh, a, a kid's t-ball set up, and then you whiffed it. <laughs> I went in for another bite of the fluffer nutter while Tay was talking because I just like, I don't feel like I consumed anything. It's just my mouth has leftover residual flavor. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Like, I feel like even vaping made me more full than this just did. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know how much more there is to talk about fluffer nutters. It's a bad sandwich. Look, it's, I don't yeah. know if it's a full, I don't know if it's. I guess it might be a, a, a regional thing if you've never heard of it before. I don't know. I didn't hear about it until a couple of years ago, but confirmed my original idea when I first heard about the sandwich is that, yeah, it's, it's a bad sandwich. Not because it tastes bad. It tastes exactly how you'd imagine it. But yeah, it's like fine. It's just air. Mm-hmm. Okay, now the last thing to do, I think, with this fluffer nutter, uh, uh, you know, experiment that you were doing is the unofficial baseless claim sandwich ranking. Which is better right now, Tyler, the fluffer nutter or the mayonnaiser? I was also going to bring up the mayonnaiser and the fact that you ate uh, a fluffer nutter, which sounds better than a mayonnaiser. But it's you're the ex- you're the you're the expert here now because you've had the fluffer nutter, so you could definitively say which one is better. But I haven't had the mayonnaiser. I've only described the mayonnaiser as if it was a villain. I've only described the mayonnaise. <laughs> you can picture it though. I can't well, really even picture that because it's been years since I've tried mayonnaise. No, 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 Tori, Tyler, you got white bread, don't you? You just had a fluffer nutter. I, 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 I cheated. It was whole wheat bread. Oh, you fucking liar. Look, if we need to, if we need a definitive ranking system right now on what's better, I th- I don't I could tell you that, yep, I put mayonnaise and bread together and I'm eating it right now. Mm, yum yum yum. I can tell <laughs> you I did that. However, I'm lying to you. I did not then go into my kitchen and put mayonnaise on bread and eat it willingly. No, no, no. You'd have to have a gun to my head in order for me to do that. I would lie to you. Like that's, I've seen you eat worse, Tyler. So don't act like you're above that. Nothing is worse than eating just, you can throw together any amount of ingredients and it's still better than the singular ingredient of a spoonful of mayo. That is a truly, truly I disgusting will beg thing. beg to differ on that one because I have seen you get fucking nasty. You have seen me put like pepperoni and string cheese and steak and hot that sauce you knew together. were bad going into the whole ordeal. Look, <laughs> like we don't the need to fuck? rehash the bad things you've made, but it's been a lot of them and you're fucking disgusting. <laughs> what so the don't hell? act like a mayonnaise is out of the realm of possibility for you. What That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm Jesus. saying. Jesus. I feel like a mayonnaise qualifies as worse than an amalgamation of I'm hungry. Let's see what's in the fridge. Like to go in and have, because that's the thing is to, to make a mayonnaise or you truly have to be without other ingredients. And even then you'd, you'd be better off just anything else, literally anything else, a raw egg, perhaps. No, then, you're you're just then that, the taste of why did you choose mayo? a raw egg for your example? You know, eggs that are part of is, mayo, right? That basically is mayonnaise. Yeah, by the yeah. I, look, I don't want to talk about sandwiches anymore. Also, Tyler, if you had a raw egg and a piece of bread, why not yeah, throw that sucker talk in a pan? More about it, Tay. Let's fucking go. Why not just throw that sucker in a pan and make a French toast, which is infinitely better. Than a mayonnaise. Well, 
I'm sure there's I'm sure there's additional steps other than, you know, you throw an egg in a pan and then slap a piece of bread on top of it. And that's nope. French toast. Nope. That's literally it. Isn't it milk? Isn't there also? Why are we talking about yeah, the ingredients? Of, you could, but you don't have to. That's yeah, like you saying do you don't things. have to do flour for like a cake. Like it's kind of what the, the crucial. What are you talking about? No, okay, you do have to. That's part of it. No, you, you need don't. it to like. Yes, it's you a do. chemical reaction. If you did, if if you think that you've only eaten dog shit French toast. That's what I'm saying. I'm not saying it's going to be a good French toast. It's going to be better than a mayonnaise, but it will still be French toast. Tay, I, do you need? I'm going to say something right now because I think you need to hear it. You're right, Tay. Thank you. Oh. Uh. Really? Uh. No. <laughs> Listen. <laughs> Listener of the show, Proppin, has uh, suggested a topic for us that I'd like to read now. There's Go to hell, Proppin. good ones lately. <laughs> <laughs> what, did Pro- what did Proppin do? I don't know. Just felt like it. You're thrown back in time and sent to the Middle Ages, and you're allowed to take one thing with you. What is the one thing you bring with you to the Middle Ages? I would probably bring COVID-19 back with me. <laughs> Just, why? Sort of wipe out all of the bubonic survivors. Tori. <laughs> they, they, they just made it through and you're like, boy, have I got something else for you. Tori, <laughs> It'd be a real Tor- shame if someone were to... <coughs> Tori, you effectively just loop hold your way into suicide. <laughs> <laughs> is is gun too easy of an answer that's a good answer <laughs> that's a it, really good answer i know it's really too good easy answer. but like the thing is tyler you have to worry about ammo because once you're out of those bullets you are effectively powerless okay but y- yes but i can bring like a big ass gun like i can bring like something with like a fucking i can have of the fucking modern warfare 2 200 round mag with yeah like, me. An, like an mg oh the gun that doesn't actually exist that's a good point you should bring that one it's probably the, MG, the example the mg42 absolutely exists what are you talking about you don't know what gun tyler was talking about okay i do know what gun he was talking about from yeah the big he was talking about the magazine. new blaster 6000 you guys are fucking so oh I feel like, though, like, it doesn't matter how much ammo I have. They don't know that. They don't know how it works. True. They're from the Middle Ages. I yeah, can literally, true. all I have to do is display its almighty power one time, and they're like, that's a wizard. That's a <laughs> fucking, that's a real wizard who probably knows alchemy as well. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh, I would bring back, like, a famous illusionist with me. Chris Angel, you're gonna mind freak. I would, bring, the I would ages? mind freak. I would, I would <laughs> fucking mind freak the Dark Ages. All right. I'm not gonna be one of those people that's like, oh, I'd bring cell phone because I could be. Ri-. Again, like it just it it requires you to know how the thing works. Mm-hmm. That's exactly. I wouldn't even be able to explain electricity, let alone no. iPhone. Mm-hmm. No, yeah, I don't my... want to step too much into like the Nate Bargatze bit, but it's like you can't go back in time and they you'd show them the phone. And they'd be like, how does it work? And you'd be like, well, I, I don't know how it works, though. Yeah, <laughs> like my knee jerk response, because I'm stupid, was going to be phone because I'm going to get bored without Twitter. And then I thought about it for more than two Charge seconds. It. Charge it. <laughs> no, there's no Internet, you dipshit. <laughs> hey, that's also a very deep problem that I think we should talk about off air. OK, that's fair. Yeah, I do have. A you crippling. have the whole of like of the middle ages. You could be, you could, you could be, talk you to could whoever, do anything. And you're like, I'd be bored without Twitter. I, <laughs> I could talk to King hey. Arthur and you're like, I'd rather be on Twitter. It's a tough question. Cause there's no like one, like pun intended silver bullet that would like get you through all of the middle ages. Right. <laughs> except for my gun. Yeah. Except that for your gun. The one, that would be my literal silver bullet. <laughs> mm-hmm. Do you think that knights? <laughs> okay, this is a stupid question. Do you think knights would be impressed by my master sword that I have? No, probably they'd be like, not. That's weak looking. All right, that's they'd, fair. They'd be like, "That's a thin ass blade." I was like, "But it's, it was wielded by the fucking hero of time. You don't even know what you're talking about, Sir Lawrence." And then they would take it, break it over their armored knee, and go, "Yeah, okay," <laughs> and cut you in twain <laughs> with their big ass sword that's also decorative. I fucking don't think that knights were probably all that. You know what I mean? Like, they couldn't get that. That armor is so fucking hard to get on. They were pissing and shitting in that all, the whole war. 
I bet they couldn't get hard. <laughs> I bet not. I would bring Viagra back. Holy shit. Oh, there you, you go. You would be the, okay, now, yeah, now we're talking. You would be the alchemist, the town alchemist that, like, you can charge anything for the boner pills because everyone's going to want them. Yeah. Ain't no one oh. erect back then. On that note, then, we can just bring some, like, modern day conveniences that would have blown their fucking world apart, like Skittles. Like a oh, Slurpee. Holy, holy shit. You know what would sell better than Viagra in that time period? Fucking vibrators. Mm. Mm. Batteries, though. Yeah, batteries and... It's a uh, solar-powered one. <laughs> gotta set it up. Okay. You okay. set it next to your fucking farm. You just, like, plant it in the ground with a little solar thing on top. See, the thing about that is uh, women weren't allowed to have pleasure, so it would only be men. So you'd have to do some really heavy lifting on that marketing. It'd be covert. Well, fair enough. Oh, co oh, covert operation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Hey, the, hey, hey, sweetie, get over here. Did you Open just eat a fluffernutter? Your mouth is quite sticky. <laughs> <laughs> That's just how I imagine people from the Middle Ages. You know, that, on. that region talking. You know, <laughs> like Jersey, New York. <laughs> oh, you know. you know what else I could bring? I could bring a modern day acoustic guitar and with the four chords that I know become a rock star overnight because of my magical sounding instrument and then never have to worry about food the entire time. They had stringed instruments. 100%. Right. But they didn't yeah. have a modern day well-made guitar. They had, they had, they had the equivalent. Close. Like you bring Kenny G back with you for done for sure. Like for sure, <laughs> like for sure, saxophone. for sure. You're, yeah. Oh, uh, a saxophonist up there. Oh, they had no idea how that shit worked. Like they had figured out like chords and like strumming a stringed instrument. You yeah. bring back, uh, yeah, you bring back Kenny G in the saxophone. However, God yeah. damn. Any reeded instrument was but a twinkle in its Papa's eye at that point. You wouldn't need the Viagra. I'll just say that. If you brought <laughs> Kenny G back, you don't need the Viagra anymore. Careless whisper hits. Everyone's getting pregnant. The only problem is you can only bring one item, right? So you can either bring Kenny G or his saxophone. You can't bring both. <laughs> They're, they are one entity. <laughs> it is truly fused to his body. Mm -hmm. Kenny G and his saxophone cannot be split in twain. It's <laughs> kind of like one of those things. Like, have you ever seen Kenny G and his saxophone in the same, like, at a, in the different room at in the same time? In a different time? room at the same time? Yeah. You haven't. They're, That's a good no. question, Tyler. That's a really good bit. <laughs> really good point. I like that. Yeah. Um, a car, honestly. A car. Yeah, gas might be an issue, but there's plenty of it back then. Yeah, exactly. Well, just, you just, just. I don't know through. how to refine that shit, but. Yeah, just do a. Uh, a Prius, something that has really, really good gas mileage. Because even going 35 miles per hour is going to blow these people's worlds apart. And that's the most fuel efficient, like, speed to go in a Prius. So, like, that's all hey, you Tay, need. The entire fucking world is off road. And you think a Prius is going to have what it takes <laughs> oh, shit, to handle I didn't that think about shit? That. You they've need got, a Jeep Wrangler at they've got minimum. Dirt roads. They've got dirt roads. That they used to fucking hang milk on to churn it into butter while riding their carts on it because it was so fucking bumpy. <laughs> True. That is an extremely good point. My point, not as well thought out, was just, I think even back then they'd laugh at you with the Prius. I think <laughs> even back then they'd look at it and be like, well, that's like, well, that's kind of a wimpy looking car. And it's like, you just found out what a car was. Yeah, you don't know what a Are car you kidding? is. And yeah, they're, they're like, going to yeah, look at it and be like, what if, what if it was a bit taller and had you know a space to put your trinkets in the back in the open air <laughs> uh, oh okay so now you know hatchbacks you've seen a car <laughs> yeah. for a, for all of five seconds and oh i'm sorry you're already this is not good enough for you <laughs> that would be fucking hilarious the other thing i thought of was like even in the middle ages they could probably like tay you have a prius that catalytic converter been stolen like two <laughs> times. <laughs> I think if you parked it out front of the castle, yeah. someone's figuring out how to get the catalytic converter off of it. Even then, a lot of desperate thieves back then. A lot of them. And precious metals were going for a premium. I'll tell you what. I love the idea of Tay goes back to the medieval times. 
<laughs> with her Prius, like, behold, my steel carriage. And there's like, someone under okay, the me, car at the moment. already <laughs> underneath it with, like, hands on shit. Oh my god. No, they're so just like they're funny. beating it off with a fucking rock. They're just like they got one rock and another rock and they're just hitting phrasing, it. Phrasing, Tyler, off. phrasing. <laughs> oh they're my just god. they're just, you could just uh listen to this. <laughs> 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 Fuck. Are you fucking kidding me? It's been parked outside for 10 fucking minutes. God damn it. It's 15, 12. How do they know about this shit already? Oh, fuck. Oh. <laughs> um, what else can you bring back in time? What, what's the goal? Like, what is the goal? Did Propin specify that, like, I'm supposed to, like... I don't think so. So, like, your goal could either be wow the masses and then return back to the future and uh, have that kind of advancement in technology tenfolded. Good job cracking that on the podcast. Um, nice. Or just survive because you only got sent one way, right? So it's it's one or the other. Yeah, I feel like propping probably meant survive. Like, what are you mm-hmm. bringing back with you? To like make it through. I think again, my answer would be gun. I yeah, think gun the, is gun is one. probably the smartest. Um, you don't even need anything huge like a rifle, although that would probably be the best option. Um, like just a pistol would be fine too. But mm-hmm. they'd think it's like a magic wand. They, yeah, I mean, they wouldn't a know pistol's good, but like if you're if that's where you're going, just commit and do an AR-15. Oh, oh, how about a a Polaroid camera. Hmm. You could take people's pictures and say you stole their soul. And since Mm, they're stupid and will believe you, they'll be indebted to you forever because you have their soul on a piece of paper. Mm -hmm. Oh, true. And then you can convince them if you kill me, you'll never get your soul back. And then you don't get to go to heaven. There was a lot of religious Mm -hmm. fear back then. So you could say like, you don't get to enter heaven. If you kill me, like I know what you're thinking. You beat me to death with a rock. And suddenly problem solved. However, have you considered no heaven? Do you think you you could bring Scientology back and become the leader of that church? Mm, that's and like good. just just oh, make fucking buco easily. bucks off that? Easily. Well, I've, I'm part of me is like, even back then they'd be like, this is a load of poppycocks, sir. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but you don't need them. You just need enough people that are like, oh, heavens, my Thetan levels are dangerously low. <laughs> Yeah, you'd have to you'd have to usurp Christianity, which was a huge powerhouse. Back which is in the going day. to get my head on a spike uh, yep, super on the fast. ramparts. So no. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Right outside the church. <laughs> yeah, Scientology kind of had to be like invented in like the sixties because if, if, if you were allowed to just kill people uh, with reckless abandon like you could back then, yeah, if someone tried to start Scientology, they would behead you now. Hmm. <laughs> um no, I thought I again. That's just a different kind of gun. I just thought of a nail gun. <laughs> just, <laughs> just a different. Gun. I think. Gu- I think you got it. I think gun is probably it. Mm-hmm. Uh, but that's it's not just the most fun. useful tool. It's just, so, it's just so easy, right? Yeah, it's, it's just an easy choice. We'd all like to say like, "Oh, we'd blow their mind with a box of Kraft mac and cheese or something like that." <laughs> but like, that's one meal, baby. Okay, think, let's think about this. What was the biggest like? What was the biggest hurdle in their lives back then? What was the, what was probably the biggest hurdle in like uh in a middle ages fucking person's life like a surf Does, d- typhoid disease was yeah disease was probably the highest disease do you bring do you bring a bottle of hand sanitizer <laughs> no, I just give him uh, purell venation <laughs> the reason like because we had like shit to like wash with like we had like washing. And that was a thing. It was just people didn't like it was if I'm coming back in time, I already hold the knowledge that germs exist. So mm-hmm. I don't need to like bring anything with me for that. Like I just know in my head germs exist and I need to keep myself clean. That's not the issue. Yeah, they didn't believe in that shit and it'd be pretty hard to try and convince them. Yeah, that's just a knowledge based thing. Like what physical like what physically would be tough to like 
like if I was transported back, everything would be tough to live with. But like, what's the one thing that's going to like kill me the fastest? Water purification tablets. That could be good. That That's I, fine. It's just boring. I feel like it'd probably be my attitude that would get me killed first. That'd be, they probably wouldn't should, like me. You should bring mm-hmm. yourself a new attitude, Tyler, because that's going to get you killed. <laughs> that's going to get me also killed something to then. pasteurize their milk, probably. Oh yeah, probably. I don't know what that is. What the fuck is pasteurizing? I think it's killing the live bacteria. Yes, that's what I'm pretty sure it does. How they do it, I kind of forgot. <laughs> it was in chemistry in college. Yeah, you heat it up with like a special flask or some shit. Um, but. I, I've completely forgotten from my chemistry what days the, in college. Yeah. Again, I feel like if they made it through, like if humans made it all the way through then and still so many of us are lactose intolerant, I feel like it's probably fine. Like you could probably get away with it. Like, like would your tummy always hurt? A hundred percent. Oh yeah. It's not a lactose thing, Tyler. It's because the bacteria inside makes you sick and dies and, mm-hmm. and, and you die. So, <sighs> Not if I wash my hands. Oh, yep. got gotcha you there. Got gotcha you there, Tori. Have you, consi- have you considered you. I washed my hands real good, Tori? <laughs> True. My bad. <laughs> if you brought a, like, a manual sewing machine, the one that you, like, power with your foot, like, squeaky, squeaky, back and forth kind of yeah. deal, you could kind of offset, like, the hours and hours it would take to make clothing, and you could make your kingdom based on that i I don't know (laughs) yeah you could make your kingdom based like they'd all be wearing like like dope ass shirts like they'd all be wearing like some sick ass like t-shirts with like an f-16 embroidered on it (laughs) It says let freedom ring i figured out i figured it out you bring back hassan (laughs) so that we get the wheels rolling a little bit quicker on the socialist ideology <laughs> and we have, I wouldn't trust Hassan with that. If we brought back Hassan, we just end up with jock. We just end up with medieval jocks. Yeah. What's wrong with that? Then it gets worse for women. It somehow <laughs> got worse for women if we bring back Hassan. Like then it's just like if she breathes, she's a thought, bro. Like that just happens <laughs> instead of in 2020, that happens in 1120. <laughs> <laughs> Well, you know, and kind of in that same vein, I had like, have y'all ever heard of Chainsaw Man? I've, okay, my, I've always been interested in Chainsaw Man, but the only thing I know about it is like the art and then the, <clears throat> like the hot protagonists or whatever. I couldn't tell you a fucking thing about the story. And it's kind of funny to assume what the story is about based on context, because I'm sure I'm fucking wrong. What do you think? It's an it's an anime. It's probably the most simple plot beats you've ever. Yeah. Every anime is the most simple plot beats you've ever heard. Uh, basically, kid and other people in world can turn into mechanical objects and kill each other. Mm, so close. It's demons. It's always oh, demons. Oh, got it. They're just devils. Um. So chainsaw chainsaw man is a man with a chainsaw for uh, arms and a head. Mm-hmm. He can, cool. he can, he has a chainsaw for an arm and a head and he kills devils with it. And I'm just wondering if you had a tool you could put on your body, what would you do then? Like if you could put anything on your body, what are you doing with that? Oh, don't say dual deck. What? Fuck. Fuck. Now that'd be pretty rad though. You pull, you pull up to a Yu-Gi-Oh tournament and like, <laughs> They just like set the shit on their like fucking dumbass little card table. It's like squeaking. It's wobbly. There's like a fucking water stain on it. It's the shittiest card table you've ever seen. And then you're like, oh, I don't need that. And you slap your wrist and a dual disc comes out of your skin. That's rad. That's yeah, yeah, that's pretty fucking cool. Do I think it might be a little bit lost on them? Perhaps. Well, if you're at a Yu-Gi-Oh like competition like you are yeah no no we're not talking king. about the middle ages anymore tori we're no, just no, talking no, no, no. generally just generally like oh. if you could mod like you put a thing like how chainsaw man has a chainsaw for a head and arms you're attaching a tool to yourself this isn't for the midi like the middle ages gotcha. or for survival it's just like you can attach a tool to yourself what tool do you attach to yourself do we want to do we want to get the horny one out of the way first well i didn't I even think of it 
I didn't. I literally didn't think about this in any horny capacity. What What Nor was it, I. Tay? What was it? Just put just put vibrators on my fingies. That's just hentai. That's just yeah. hentai. But think of think of the ladies and the and the guys and the thembies. You I know? would never think of the ladies. That tracks. Um, but if more she seriously. breathes, she's a thought. <laughs> King Hassan eleven twenty. <1120. laughs> It's fucking chiseled into stone. (laughs) Could I, does it come out of your body or is it just that uh, uh, something is replaced with that tool? It essentially comes out of your body. Like it, you can turn into it because like in Chainsaw Man, you're like kind of a devil. Like if there's a Mm -hmm. devil that lives inside of you and then he pulls a rip cord on his chest and then the chainsaws come out. That's tight. That's awesome. Yeah. It's pretty rad. So I think honestly, like, I'd probably like pull a ripcord in my chest and then I got like pogo sticks for legs. Like I could just like. Fuck, that's good. Yeah, then you can can just kind of. Yeah, yeah. I got to expand my view of tool because yeah, that's fucking good. Yeah. What if, what if you cracked your knuckles and then your fingers turned into lock picking kits? That's good too. That's really good. But although like, I don't, how useful is lock picking in this day and age? Well, not a lot, but like you could change your, your direction in life <laughs> pretty fucking quick. I would think, but you still have to be like sneaky, you know, like yeah. you still got to like do a B and E. And yeah, even then, true. like most locks are probably like smart locks now. Like, yeah, maybe? my thing would be that I, I play hot cross buns on the recorder and then a USB stick comes out of my finger and I can stick it in things and hack them. That's, oh, see, <laughs> that's, that's pretty fun. cool. What if, what, what happens when like we upgrade USB generations again? Like we made mm-hmm. the jump from USB A to like USB C? Like, yeah. Mm-hmm. What happens then? Like, are you just outdated and you can just never use it again? <laughs> yeah, I like. Yeah, I just, I just jump off a bridge at that point. You gotta, <laughs> you gotta find an old machine. No, you have, you have an adapter for your finger. <laughs> <laughs> you have a whole fuck. What are those called? You have a whole dongle. Yeah, dongle like, setup. Yeah. Can I not go to like a ripper dock and get some new shit like put in me? Do I have to just stick with nah. USB two point oh? No, you gotta, you gotta stick with it. Like, you can't like. It's just whatever tool you have, but you can use a dongle. I will allow the dongle because it's funny as hell. It's really funny. Okay. Yeah. I get a dongle, I guess. (laughs) That you're like like standing there and you're like, hold hold on. I got to like put this in and oh fuck wrong way. And it's like, it's your own finger. (laughs) Like, how do you not know what way it goes at this point? (laughs) Yeah. You have to like awkwardly twist your wrist and everything. You have to like twist your, oh, that's the perfect thing is that (laughs) the USB on your finger is upside down. (laughs) So you have to so like always weirdly position your hand. <laughs> it's always very uncomfortable. <laughs> you know, like bend it, your arm like around your back to get the right angle. You plug in. I'm in. <laughs> <laughs> I'm or just, uh, in. Oh, that's the other thing. It hurts. It's like yeah, sticking it hurts your like a bitch. It's like sticking your finger fingernail in between like two ply boards. Ugh. Like, ugh. Ow, that was a terrible lie. That was a terrible it. thing that came you out of my mouth. You suck. You yeah, suck. It was pretty bad. What if a how, hey out of your mouth? What if like a spoon just came out of your mouth? Fuck what if that. you just Gross. never needed nope. a spoon? You nope. could just, that's not helpful. <clears throat> Why? Like your tongue is a spoon? Yeah. Like Why your tongue not is a spoon. bad. How do you get it off the spoon into like to chew it? Yeah. Why don't you just say straw? Well, you don't need a straw tape. That's a dumb one. Because then you you can just you can just tip a drink in your mouth. <laughs> the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> Yeah, you don't need a straw to drink. You need <laughs> the spoon for He's soup, though. so useless. Well, you just tilt your head back. Like, you just, like, throw your head mm-hmm. back. Like, once you get the soup in the spoon that is your tongue, you just kind of, like, throw your head back, like, really aggressively. <laughs> fucking choke on it? Yeah, you would still yeah. feel the temperature of the soup, too. So if it was too hot, you would just fucking fling hot soup you into would, your face. You're waterboarding yourself with hot soup. It's <laughs> <laughs> a rough one. <laughs> the government actually legally had to stop waterboarding. That was defined as torture. However, they never said anything about, about Campbell's, boarding. <laughs> Campbell's, <laughs> Campbell's chunky boarding where they just, <laughs> where they just put a chunky chicken noodle soup over your mouth and it's like, Oh, it's hot as well. Yeah. <laughs> it's going to be pretty tough to, to enjoy a, a, a steaming hot bowl of booyah when, when that's the, how you have to eat it. Mm-hmm. Bad choice, Tyler. Okay, well, at least it's better than chopstick tongues. That would be even worse. 
You said like, that as uh, though those were the two options. Like, yeah. You guys said chopstick tongue. <laughs> Which I said spoon said tongue that. like on, an intelligent individual. I, I well, said straw tongue like a dipshit. Hold on, hold on. If hold on, chopstick tongue is interesting because think of the conolingus you could perform. That's crazy. Oh, and my finger vibrators Ugh. was t- too gross. Yeah. One, I would never perform conolingus. <laughs> As a man, I would never. <laughs> As a man, I would never. I, I go the DJ Khaled route. And what was two? You said you said one, and then is there like a two and a three or just <laughs> Oh, they're stinky. <laughs> <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> I'm <laughs> <laughs> no, you're good, King. You're fine. You don't have to elaborate. <laughs> mm. Oh, oh, you know, actually, hold on, hold on. This is kind of a genius one. My genius little kind of scared me a little bit here. What if out of your finger just came a longer finger so you could scratch <laughs> in hard to reach places? <laughs> oh, you're genius. Is that a tool it's though? Terrifying. Is that a tool though? Yeah, back scratcher. What if it was, what if it was okay, yeah, back scratcher. scratcher. Yeah, a back scratcher comes out of your finger and it's just like you could just get those hard to reach places. Mm-hmm. I'm I'm terrified by your genius. It hey, was hey, hey, smart. hey, you can you can you can make fun of me all you want. Everyone that was listening just thought of that and they're like, oh, fuck, yeah, I could totally see myself using that. <laughs> like everyone was just like, yeah, yeah, there's an application for that 100 percent. What if you could? Whatever, pull the ripcord on your chest, and then a toilet appeared on your ass. And then you could anywhere, <laughs> Stop! Anywhere. Oh yes, I would love that. I would love yeah. that actually. <laughs> sit down, pop oh a my squat, God. baby. I can sit down and shit because no, I no longer need to worry about shitting my pants in public. No, I didn't shit my pants. I shit my toilet. Thank you. Where you're supposed to shit? Mm-hmm. How do you flush though? Where does it go? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Where does it go? These are questions for a different time. <laughs> These are questions for smarter people. They figured it out. It, it, it goes into the chamber. You flush it down. It goes into the lower chamber where it's converted into drinking water. Ew. That's my greatest fear. That's what Stop Bill it. Gates is trying to do for... Hey, that's, it's a good thing, Tyler. I guess, but it's also gross. It's also gross. Like, look, Bill, I get what you're trying to do. Clean water for the world. But have you considered... I'm not that woke, okay? Anything? <laughs> have you considered anything other than poop water, maybe? Maybe we just, maybe we just like get rid of the the grasp that like five companies have on privatized water. Maybe we just do that instead of poop water. That seems dumb. You could turn your <laughs> forearms into aluminum baseball bats. That's pretty versatile. That's like a. Is it? Yeah, it's for self defense, and then also if you ever need like a hammer on short notice, you can just turn why not a hammer? You're gonna look like a fucking loser trying to fight if it's your forearms that are metal, where you're just fucking swinging your forearms <laughs> like a wild yeah. banshee. It would be it would be unconventional, but everyone works. Like, sure. It's also so stiff you can't bend that, so like you're stuck like fighting like you're like locked in, like your arms can't like bend. You just kind of well, like you'd still be able to bend your elbow, just not your wrist. But doesn't all the power like come from? You can't like. I'm trying well, to you, think of where all the power comes from. Right, in a swing. you you would have to change your swing to be more of a a baseball bat swing. But Why with not your just forearm? a hammer for your hand? Because that seems lame to me <laughs> you said it's you said it's to hammer things but you said the tool would be a bat you, you can be hammer like, with anything yeah technically yeah so it's, it's fine okay okay i was just thinking that that'd be like if i <laughs> if i said like no you don't get it so like there's knives that come out of my feet and I can mow the lawn with it. It's like, I feel like there's like a simpler <laughs> life. You just, 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 you just have to wiggle your toes and then you're done with the chores for the day. <laughs> you have to do a very elaborate dance. <laughs> uh. So you said pogo sticks for legs, but why not go a step further? Just make them wheels. Oh, fuck. Yeah. I could be like a Connecticut, like fucking thing. Yeah. Yeah. Or like, uh, the the one alien from Ben 10 that goes real fast because it's got wheels for feet. Never watch Ben 10. Not a dork. Oh, I want to. I want to. I want to go like, and a ripstick is underneath me. Mm. Okay. The coolest mode of transportation, Tay. I'll fucking fight you for this. It's pretty cool. Is who are the thi- are those Bakugans that come out of little balls and they the like? F- yeah. Bakugan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I'm I'm with you, Tyler. I'm with you. 
That would be a cool, I feel like that'd be a cooler mode of transportation. Also way cooler than the Prius. If you were bringing that back to medieval times, like I feel like they'd be way more impressed by a Bakugan than a Prius. <laughs> yeah, like, you're right. Honestly, it looks a bit like, can it be like, why is it so boxy? Why does it look like that? I don't know. It just doesn't have a masculine aura to it <laughs> even then they'd be like i don't know what if can it have like a longer nose maybe like a cool like front grill like and then can we call it like a mustang perhaps and you're like fuck how good is it for picking up maidens <laughs> not good not good i'll tell you that um yeah, a Bakugan, I feel like, could be a cool mode of transportation. Like, if you just, like, rolled up into a ball like an armadillo and then just fucking... That's got to be really You're dizzy, basically though. just a droidica. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, and uh, look at how fucking rad they looked. But you gotta, you have to, like, mitigate getting super fucking dizzy. Because just because you turn into a droidica doesn't mean your inner ear magically turns off. My ears are now speakers, the speaker heads. They don't hear anything. They just play music. That kind of sucks. Yeah. They just play. They just obnoxiously play music for everyone else to hear at all times. Mm. You know, like how when people bring like speakers into public transportation and you're like, motherfucker, you were ju you're just always that guy. So you're looking to just get killed then. They can't kill me. I'm a Bakugan. I'm so fucking fast. <laughs> <laughs> they will, Oh, you want to try and stab me with your, you want to try and hit me with your baseball bat arms? I just rolled up into a ball and I'm gone. Bye. So you're Sonic. True. What if? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 What if my What if my feet could just turn into soap shoes? That's the tool that I want. There you go. There you, go. you can grind on <laughs> shit all the time now. The soap shoes make the man, Mister Sonic. <laughs> there's got to be more, right? There's There's got to be a, a good one. That's not like for hurting people or for making your life easier. There's got to be something like, hey, what there's else only is two reasons anyone invents anything. <laughs> That's fair. And it's okay, to okay. kill people or make your life easier. <laughs> okay. Yeah. I was a bit, I was a bit too broad there. I suppose no one does anything for like anyone else's benefit or because it benefits porn. Yeah. True. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And we, we, we covered those too. So I think we got everything. Good job guys. I don't know. 3d movies are kind of like, 3D movies didn't kill anyone, but they also weren't for anyone's benefit. But I suppose that's not a tool. That's just a concept. Yeah. But seriously, James Cameron can can get fucked for, for that one. Yep, 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 yep. yep. He hey. ruined movies for like a good four years where you, like, you couldn't see something in just oh, 2D. More, yeah, it was more than four years. That had to have been like yeah. eight years where they were really trying to ride that 3D wave. And it's like, hey, gang, ain't no one want to watch it wearing your lame ass uncomfortable glasses. Why would I want like, did they really <laughs> not think of just people who already wear glasses? Yeah, no, they did. Well, for sure. And also and also, hey, you know, what would make me want to go out to the movies more is having to pay an additional like $20 so that I can get these shitty ass glasses that are super uncomfortable and make the viewing experience worse. And that I usually have to give back when I'm done. <laughs> yeah. What did they do with them? What the fuck? They're all in a landfill somewhere. Sticky. They're all stick. Cause I can tell you yeah, right you now. You dropped like them the in that little pads. cardboard box at the end. And so I imagine that they all went, got sanitized. I literally never did that. I paid so much for that ticket. I keep the glasses. That's fair, honestly, but like for the, the centrists in the Midwest who never did that, I'm sure they fucking sanitized them and put them back on other people's faces. You know how hard it was to make out in a theater wearing 3D glasses? You just always had to have them on because you never knew like, uh, well, like when we go back to watching the movie, like I don't want to see SpongeBob not in 3D. <laughs> Once again, Tyler, I was just leaning in to whisper something into your ear. It's not what you thought it was. <laughs> I thought it was a big old... Well, you're the one that initiated the tongue, so I don't guys, know what you're talking guys, about. can you shut what? the fuck up? We're trying to enjoy a movie right now. Shut, shut up. up! We're talking! <laughs> yeah, and there's a fucking movie going on, dipshit. We're trying to watch Clash of the Titans. Shut up! I thought this was Pacific Rim. No, that's in Theater 8. Oh, thank you. 
What if that, what if that's the tool you bring back? What if that's not bring back? What if that's the tool that's in your body is just at any moment, 3d glasses can come <laughs> out of your face. So you're always ready to watch avatar yeah, in 3d. It's, it's a, it's applicable 0.0002% of your life. But I mean, well, hey, that's there's, something. there's two, there's two use cases for it. Use case number one is that there happens to be a 3D movie and you forgot your glasses, snap your fingers, boom, they're on your face. Number two, you're on a date. It's going a little better than you expected it to. She's like, hey, you want to come back to my place? Uh, and you're like, yeah, but you're really nervous because it's been a long time. You're, you're, the pressure to perform is right there. You snap them, 3D glasses, come on, boom. Sex is off the table for the night. You've saved yourself. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, fuck. Oh, a little bit of self-sabotage. I get it. Mm -hmm. Sometimes we all need it. We need a ripcord. Well, you know what else we need a ripcord for? This podcast. So thank you so much for listening to our show. Go ahead and leave a like, favorite, comment, and or review. It'll really help the show out. Get us into curated lists. Spread us around. Uh, feel free to join our Discord as well. You can find that in the description of wherever you're listening to the show. Um, we have a nice little community there that love talking to each other. And just like Proppin, you can suggest topics for the show. Just like Proppin, I hate you. Why do we've you gotten hate some really good. We've gotten some good topic suggestions lately. Yes, so we've we gotten a lot of really those, good ones. Uh, very excited about that. You guys are starting to find that sweet spot and mm -hmm. we love to see it. Mm -hmm. You can also go over to youtube.com slash shapeless media, which is the YouTube channel that corresponds with this podcast. You're going to find not only every episode of this show, but you're also going to find hundreds of other videos that if you want a little bit more of uh, our, our back and forth, check them out. You're going to like them. Now, I know what you're all thinking. The perfect modification for your body is your throat unhinges itself and it becomes a microphone for you to podcast anywhere, anytime. I know. It's in the near future, but we're not quite there yet. But what we do have right now that you can get are pod decks. Now, these are decks of cards that are going to give you podcast topics. You still have to find a way to broadcast it into the ether space. However, they're going to help you get those mind juices flowing uh, with like what ifs and, you know, a lot of different conversation starters. That's what it is. It's brain fuel. Okay. So if you go to poddex.com and use code SWORDWATCH at checkout, you're going to get 10% off your first order. And then you can save some money. You give us some money. It's a win-win, you know? So why don't you do that? Poddex.com, code SWORDWATCH at checkout. Bye-bye. Y'all ready for the Poddex Last Laugh Halloween edition? Ooh, Halloween edition. It's Whoa. Spooky. What is the scariest sound you could hear in the middle of the night? Oh, yeah, Jerry. <laughs> <laughs> Is that, it's, I assume you're talking about Tom and Jerry in this situation? Yeah. Um, yeah. <laughs> <laughs>